The purpose of this little video is how you get to the Warren, where you park and what you can do. So <clears throat> if you put the Warren on your sat-nav, it will come to a road that says private road. Uh, first time we came here, we actually stopped at the top and we didn't go down the private road. And we walked down and actually you can watch that video of you nearly dying on the cliff. Please don't attempt this walk unless you're a hiker with hiking boots on and you know what you're doing. Yes. Well, okay, that's a bit extreme, but <laughs> you know, you came down the cliff. Anyway, don't do that. So. People do go down that private road. Yes, don't say you can. I'm not saying you can, but people do. And when you get to the bottom of that private road, you basically come to this. So uh, there are double yellow lines. I'm gonna point out double yellow lines here and over here and all the way down. But this is currently uh, before nine on Sunday morning. You get lots and lots of dog walkers that park here. Um, later at night you get the fishermen that park here as well. Now I'm not saying you can park down here and I'm not saying that that's our van and it's been there all night. I'm not saying that, remember. People seem to. And if you do, then it's actually quite easy because you walk down, I'll put a little bit of drone footage in here, as long as you don't obscure this here. So this used to be a caravan, caravan club um, camping site and the Caravan Club camping site actually was closed. It isn't open this year. The road at the top there, um, they've had to repair it recently because there's a big crack open up. Potentially that's why that's closed because this is a very active place. Yes. So if you choose to park here and there's a landslip and your car ends up in the sea, don't blame me, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know, you take the risk. You take your you own take risk. You take your own risk parking. But apart from the sign on this gate, which, will, which is she walk up yeah and of course the double yellow lines that i think that's probably struggle to enforce because they're not all i mean people are very good at getting out of double yellow line um fines because lines aren't marked correctly and they're all inconsistent there's no continuous double yellow line anyway all the tarmac's worn away but just don't park in front of this gate because even though it looks like nobody uses it Every time we come down here, we find uh, that there's a, a vehicle that's been through, and they use this quite regularly, actually. So don't don't park in front of that. Anyway, you come through this gate, and look, there's actually most of the time people park within like probably 100 meters of this gate. You can park. For, uh, there are people park further up as well, and then you come down this little little lane. And you probably can see, maybe in the distance, there are some, uh, in fact it's disappeared, you can see the white cliffs that have just been covered in cloud. <clears throat> Let's get to the bottom here. I'm just going to go ahead a little bit. Are you okay? This is probably two or three minutes from where people stop to actually the beach. Foxes have been here, clearly. Right, and now look, there's a load of sea glass on this beach. As you get further over, there's actually a tip that's over this corner where big chunky glass is, but we find the best glass is here. Uh, but it gets bigger as you get further up. And if you go down here, and you can find little beaches, that's also a good place as well. It gets smaller, but much more refined this side but actually it's really good if you want little nice pieces and some bigger pieces too, it's really good here. One word of warning, there are no facilities here. There's no toilets, there's no shops. Uh, there's just about a bin that the fox is empty regularly. So there's nothing here. So you need to bring everything you need and take it away with you too, obviously. But, uh, but yeah, beautiful place. I really like it here. It's one of the most picturesque beaches, I think, unless you go to Cornwall. And despite the concrete of the coastal defences, I still think it's an amazing beach, especially if you get here when the sun's coming up, sun's come up, 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 the sun comes up over there and it can look amazing. Anyway, hope that helps and uh, catch you next time. Ooh.